talking me out of a job. Maybe he can come over here. Or maybe we can get somebody from North Korea, Kim Jong-un, where they love uniforms. They can come over and work for Hillary. Because that's kind of what they've been trying to set up here with the security guard. One guy is like the, thinks he's uh, Thor with his big beard. So he's the, uh, he's the Viking uh, dictator. And then we've got the uh, fella, I guess, who's trying to uh, walk in the shoes of Robert Mugabe. Let's go back to that clip. Here it is. So Mount Nasty. See that one? What do you think about Bill Clinton, all these women having accused Bill Clinton of raping them? What are you doing standing in front of me, sir? So now, okay, this is exactly what Donna Brazil was talking about. It was a cult. I felt like it was a cult. You could not penetrate them. Cult-like behavior from Hillary Clinton's staff and private security. You're saying we didn't comply? Yeah, we just asked you to head off property, trying to be as polite as we possible. Are. Okay, Thor. Off property. This is a public sidewalk. You to stop harassing our patrons. I'm not. I'm hey, not Thor, you and Robert Mugabe are wrong. Engaged in discussion with me. I see other press organizations walking around talking to people. And they're not harassing people either. So it's <laughs> not harassing people. Not harassing people. Harassing folks. That's this not is valid. Hillary Clinton. Whoa. <laughs> By the way, hit pa pause real quick. These women are all deranged and seem to have like motor issue problems. And again, I'm not attacking people that have neurological disorders. Lord knows most of us will end up having them or have family members that have them. Okay. But I mean, you see, like, ah, yeah, it's like Frankenstein. Ah, ah, uh, we're going to show Chicken Man coming up. Yes, I'm not kidding. A man in a chicken suit attacks. Uh, but let's continue private property no this is private property can we do it on this on the sidewalk though just off property so they go to the sidewalk and then he comes back decided it's fine this is great you guys i mean you're really showing weird is that kim jong-un with like a glued on beard what brings you out here today <laughs> and look robert mugabe support hillary keeps bumping into her she knows how to tell the truth well, have you always told the truth i've always tried to Always. Always. Did you read her book, What Happened? That's why we're here. We're getting the book. <laughs> you're getting the book. Okay, Watch so you haven't read it yet. Watch, Watch your, your body. If you're going to push your body into my elbow, then that's your fault. Like we're trying to be cordial, so just no physical contact, okay? Um, excuse me, but when I'm standing here and he's pushing into me, pushing into my elbow, saying, Watch my elbow, he needs to watch his body, okay, and not be assaulting me. Just don't be assaulting me. I'm invading your space, and when you wake up in the morning, all you'll see is this face. <laughs> what do you think about Bill Clinton having sexually assaulted women? He did not sexually assault women, considering that for sexual assault, you need uh, okay, guys, consent. You need to have consent. Look, that guy can actually law. talk. talk. The law. So they try can to stop him from talking. Excuse me, do not touch me, sir. I will file an, an assault charge on you. You do not touch me. I don't know. You're private security. You do not have the right to touch me. Well, she wasn't. Yeah, four. Yeah, and he's he's okay, engaging in willful fine. dialogue. You don't have the right to touch me and push up on me, sir. I do yeah, not Robert. want you to touch me. He was. So okay, you're saying that consent is the issue here, right? And are you referencing um, Monica Lewinsky? I am in fact right. Uh, yes. Now there's other women. Man, I just saw your T-shirt. I don't think we're gonna chat. <laughs> All right, stay with us. Do you know we'll be back when Aquaman summons three giant whales. And the Intrepid InfoWars crew battles a vicious psychotic chicken. This is not fake news. Well, the Aquaman part is a joke. Well, I'm here with Owen Schroyer. I'm your host, Alex Jones. Owen's been working seven days a week and has never been happier. I was up at midnight last night. Uh, Harrison Smith came over to my house. I just had a dinner party. And people were leaving at like, you know, 10, 30, 11 at night. And we're shooting 40-minute videos because... Google officially has merged with Soros. I mean, I have the news articles right here. And is censoring InfoWars, but like mainline churches and Christian groups, they have fact-checking saying, well, Jesus didn't exist, and our impartial fact-checking group is the Atheist Association. <laughs> they have just built an army of every bureaucracy. The atheists are over the Christians. The atheists are over the people warning about Muslims because they love them. The, the uh, power-grabbing environmental groups are all now policing people that say man-made global warming isn't real or that coal is good. And they've just put Snopes and Soros funding hundreds of groups in PolitiFact 
who said that you know that Trump was caught with the Russians. All 14 agencies said so. That wasn't true. They said that Hillary had a 97% chance of winning. That wasn't true. They said WikiLeaks wasn't real. That wasn't true. They just lie, lie, lie. And now suddenly, have you seen this on Google? Where Snopes is the only one that doesn't get fact-checked. And, and, and the other fact-checkers. If you get into the fact-checkers, you're above the New York Times, the Washington Post, the Drudge Report, everyone. The, you know, the, the, the Japanese media, the, the, the Mexican media, there's just like Snopes is like, oh, like in Monty Python, like God, like, oh, the kind of steps on your burnt. I mean, they are a guy and his cat and his wife, who I guess it came out in the news, spent money on some interesting extracurricular activities, tax free. Uh, they now are literally the oracle of all truth. Did you know that? Well, I think this is the sign that the establishment is only looking to reach the mentally deranged, mentally defective people. They, I agree. They are loosing Snopes on us. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Like not the Imagine Google, Snopes, and Soros had a baby. The average individual is going to look at Snopes and critically analyze it and say, mm, okay, I'm not really going to rely on anything from that <laughs> organization. But the... But that's what I'm saying. They're not targeting that person. Well, they don't care. They're going to label, label, label till we're banned. That's the mission. Well, I think that you were you were king on something when you were talking to the crew. It's that they want us to even not speak about these things, even in a comedic sense. They don't want you to even reference these topics. They don't want you to reference anything. But Snopes did have prostitutes at their honeymoon. I mean, at least they're partying. It'll it'll reach a point, Alex, where you'll say. Well, look at Hillary Clinton, and you'll make some joke about Hillary Clinton falling over, and we'll make a funny meme or graphic, and they'll say, insensitive, you're being rude to old people, how dare Meanwhile, you? Meanwhile, the left's like, we're going to murder you and your family, and they're like, oh, promote this, it's so liberal. Here, here's, a, here's a decapitated Trump head, it's liberal though, it's loving, because Trump is the devil. Hillary, Hillary God, angel, Trump devil. That's and that's that's the re reality. Meanwhile, I'm like, hey, we got a tranny coming on later who's a libertarian. They're like, banned. You can't use that word. I go, since when is it a bad word? Trannies came up with it. And they go, Facebook decided last month, and that's yeah. in the news where they're sending police now to radio stations that say it. It's not even illegal. It's not even an, an insult word. There's the article. College calls wow. police on student who said tranny on radio. I mean, what planet am I living on? That's actually shocking to me because that's their word. The and I'm not even FCC. against them. The, yeah, look, the but FCC. I am against people telling me I can't use a word. It's like they're like God. It's like I will decide what words you use. Meanwhile, they're, they're like you said, their constituents can't talk. Did you see Millie's videos and your videos? You were there. What was it like? It's not. It's, it you know. It's a part of it's sad. Because Tell people what happened this weekend. Because you know that these people have really been brainwashed. They've been physically poisoned with chemicals in the food and water. And you saw Millie's video. We'll play the highlight from this weekend here yesterday in, in Austin, Texas. So we saw a man show up at the November 4th protest. There he is. There's the unicorn. He became famous for showing up at the November 4th protest. Well, now he brings out his friend in a chicken suit. What, what the hell is that, Alex? Who goes around in public wearing a chicken suit and a unicorn suit? A grown man. Well, it shows they're all part of like make believe. It's like they're three years old. By the way, why can't the Advocate and all these other publications say tranny? But I've been told by Facebook and meetings we've recorded a week and a half ago. We haven't released. You do not use it, period, period. And then I have court cases in Canada where professors use it in debate. They can't even say it in the court case saying it's such an evil word. So you probably These are just people training you to go, this word is the most evil thing on earth. But I can use it, but you can't. It's a new royalty. So I guess you can't say homo either then or hetero. Is that where this is going? I mean, that's that's how it started. Yeah. Anyways, I'm sorry. I'll get back to the man in the chicken suit. That's coming up after the break. Well, this is what it comes down to. I, I don't want to target mentally ill people. That's not our goal here. Our goal is to not find mentally ill people and to try to exploit them or anything. What we're illustrating now, this is not... This is Everywhere not we go, creation. Clinton supporters, globalist supporters are literally right. like escapees from the lunatic asylum. Yeah, we don't create that reality. We're just going and, and, and showing the world what's actually happening here. So I don't know what kind of person dresses up as a unicorn and brings out a battle axe and dresses up as a chicken. What if they identify as a chicken? <laughs> well, don't see, even say the word now chicken you now. Might be, now you might be onto something. Now, see, now we can't be talking about the chicken man because we're being insensitive because he's identifying as a chicken. Or a unicorn. Well, don't say or man unicorn. or woman. Or a unicorn. Una Whatever you want to be. Una G. G. Una. G. Unicorn. Yeah, I don't know. So they'll make it. Like it's like Jim. It's like.
you have the flu and you're hallucinating. It's like, what? what the? But Alex, think about it like this, though. You, th these same people that we're talking about, they believe in the quote unquote science of climate change, right? They believe in that quote unquote science, but they don't believe in the science of genders. How do you how do you create? They an are firing professors that go. I'm sorry. There are male and female chromosomes, and they're like, you hate me. You're they're evil. So you're horrible. Yeah. It's, science is real. And they're, you're like, I know it's real. <laughs> Just dude, come on. I mean, literally, it's crazy. How do we get hijacked? RuPaul, we can't use the T word anymore, so I'm saying granny. Now so, you've got the most what? famous tranny there is, can't use it, because they were told to. Why? Use whatever word you want. Good. This yeah, is I don't know. It is. It it's is. like it's when about, you're on your iPhone and won't you type certain words. Well, they, they, they won't directly come after the Second Amendment, uh, uh, First Amendment, excuse me, legislatively, because they know that that would fail. So what they do is they, they, try bully. To, they bully you. They make you afraid of your free speech. They make you think uh, about, oh, who might I offend? You know, before I say this, and of course, of course, you want to think before you act. And I, you know, but but it's not about, oh, you know, I need to analyze everyone in this room. And we're calling there. the police. We saw you at a Halloween party, and somebody was dressed as a Native American. I saw you make a joke about a tranny. Uh oh, we probably just got censored off thirty stations because of me. I'm no, no, no. Out. It's, it's the the radio stations aren't mentally ill yet, and they know it's not real and it's a fraud. That was a college radio station. They did it as a stunt to create the hype that is illegal. They're just playing a game. But I'm sure you, re I mean, you know, they're saying don't say mother or father on elementary entrance exams nationwide. Next, that's the word you can't say. Mother, father, mother, father. They don't like to hear Jesus Christ. They say never say that in a prayer. I, I love Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. So I'm saying more. These are the new FCC banned words. Right. Mother. Yeah. Father. It's not about what's Red, white, and blue. Ninth Circuit ruled three years ago you can't wear American flags in in, in seven states. Oh, the crew could look it up right now. They're banning American flag apparel on college campuses, on high school campuses. Pocket constitutions are banned. Yeah, you can, on Constitution Day. You can't hand and out And then the people come in and they go, don't we have Play-Doh? Come play, we have lemonade. And they go, they go I, I saw the room. Constitution. They go, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this actually happens. This actually happens, though. But that's what I'm saying. So when we go to these events... These are the people we're actually seeing in the flesh. You can actually see them in the flesh when we go to these events. Now, the good news is they're fewer and, and far between the more the events happen. We've gone so. from 500 in Austin down to 16. Yeah. In New York, it's gone from 20,000 down to a couple hundred. Now, the media, the local paper reported that thousands came out. Oh, they were all there. All of them. And they all just... And we're the majority here that stands against Trump. No. No, you're really not. And then meanwhile, they'd see our reporter, uh, Billy Weaver, and run over screaming, ah! Like like zombies. All you got to do is show up, man, and you'll see. That's it. You just you don't even have to. All right, stay it. there. Let's come back. We've got highlights of the George Soros Antifa demonstration, ah! and 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 literally a gibbering lunatic, in my opinion. That's what he sounds like one. I mean, all over. I thought he had like a voice changer under his thing. He didn't. Maybe he's a time traveler. Got his brain swiped by aliens. But it's coming up. Okay, getting serious, though, Owen, you were a famous guy for debating, going back two years, Carl the Cuck, you know, other famous age Skrelix uh, folks that, even though I offered him $10,000 to come on the show, they wouldn't come on the show. You went to his house, found out where he lived, he was scared. Yep. And then now you've been in Austin uh, a, a year, where you were describing what it's like for you to have these new friends, you, you you go out to have beers with a unicorn and insane chicken. Yeah, I mean, you, you're thinking about joining Antifa and the Democrats right now. It was a struggle for me. And then I went down there yesterday. I was already on the fence. You know, Alex says these crazy things like Hillary's sick and then she falls over. Trump's going to win. The, the the polls are fake. And then he does. And but, I, you know, I was still on the fence. And so I went to the event yesterday kind of on the fence. And then I saw some mentally deranged people banging pots and pans in the streets. I saw my unicorn friend for the second time. This time he added a, a battle rifle to his arsenal. He has a battle axe and a battle rifle now, probably from a different dimension. And then he also brought his chicken man friend. But seriously. Oh, if you're a new listener, we have HD video of this. We're, we're not joking. And we can, we can go to the B-roll now. But, but this is, I mean, Alex, what do we do with these people? I mean, that's the question. How do you... How do you help these people? Do we just kind of let them go? Do we just kind of, you know what I'm saying? Just and look, the printout is the Soros group, the same font from the November yeah. uh, fourth deal. It, yeah. This is all Soros. He admits it. He, I mean, it's like all Soros. Like, 
This is what is 18 million buys is people in chicken suits? Well, you reported on Friday, Alex, Soros met with Nancy Pelosi, other members of the Democrat Party in California. I think Soros may be on his last legs uh, of life. I mean, literally, like he might even be close to biting the dust. So they bring him out to California. They have this meeting. He puts his $18 billion in. You can already kind of see Alex Soros taking over the old George Soros social movement, meeting with these politicians. Going yeah, to suddenly his son, who is a total moron. Mm -hmm. Well, I just think, I, I think that this is really it, Alex. This is really their final push. That's what people don't realize. Trump is our last stand. And everything against Trump is their last stand. It really is. It exactly. It's way beyond Trump or Infowars or Soros. But we're the figureheads, and that's what everything's shooting at. I just can't believe we're in this position because they're coming after us. Well, hey, no I make jokes about it, but it's crazy. Well, I mean, where else can you go that's going to report it like this? You can't go. No one else is telling you that we're literally in the battle for the future right now. We're literally in the battle for America. This what happens in the next. And notice years. all of our all of our verbiage they're now using because it's true. The enemy has adopted everything we do, but from their perspective. Even, and now they're coming after us. Yeah, even, even like... Which is okay. I asked for it. I'm ready. Remember when you used to use the phrase false flag, right? You would use that phrase over 10 years ago. Nobody ever heard of it. Nobody knew what it was. Now people use false flag almost every day. No, it's true. It's almost uncanny how we're running the tables against them. And that's why they go, whoa, this group has total credibility. Everything they said is dialed in. Because we were paying attention to them. They would always have their internal documents that were somewhat public. And then their public BS. We just went off what their, their real operations. They, didn't, they were so arrogant, Owen, they didn't hide it. We only have credibility because we paid attention to what they were actually saying. And now we've been proven right. So they go, whoa, censor them. But that only creates a Streisand effect. Well, we call it as we see it based on our historical analysis, real-time analysis, and it sounds crazy at first, and then a couple weeks, couple months, couple years go by, and then it always ends up being right. Every major globalist billionaire said, we're going to merge the machines, we're going to have a one-world religion, you're going to worship AI, if you do everything we say, we'll let you merge with it and live forever, and fly off in giant spaceships, and I went, that's childhood's end, written in the 60s by, uh, you know, the uh, top MI6 operative, uh, and you know, all the rest of it, Arthur C. Clarke, and I was like, I go, either they're, and I say in the film, I go, they're either crazy or they're jacked into something really bad. But I go, either way, they're nuts. We've got to oppose it. Now today, stack of news. It was on Fox News during the break. Google executives, world government, AI worship, banning other religions. The religion of machines is here. They just invented it last week. Owen, did you hear? Well, what is No, they're rolling it out. This is their response. And they say, we will outlaw your religion. What have you always said? The Achilles heel of the globalist technocratic app operation apparatus is for the people to have knowledge. If the general population knows what they're trying to build, knows what they're laying out, they will fight it. That's what we've reached. That's the point where we're at right now. And it really can all be, I think, summarized with the Roy Moore campaign. You look at Roy Moore. I'm not here glorifying Roy Moore. I'm not even involved in this election. This is an Alabama deal. Has nothing to do. But there's with, no evidence. But here's the thing. Exactly. So what are we seeing? Roy Moore, this is a Senate seat that the Democrats need desperately. They need that vote to impeach Trump. They need that vote when all of these votes happen. They are so desperate they cannot get a, a national victory. So they're throwing the kitchen sink. They're throwing everything they can against Roy Moore, trying to get him to bow out and basically bully their way into that seat. So now you're seeing the backlash. Roy Moore saying, I'm not going to bow out. People are standing up for them. His wife is giving speeches. So this is now the battle. Are we going? And, and the, the sad thing about it is people are going to be bullied. Whether he's perfect or not now, it's literally been set up as a vote, a litmus test on whether they win or we win. Exactly. And this is how they're going to plan on moving their political agenda forward. Claim all of their enemies are sexual assaulting people, you know, bring up ladies from 40 years ago, 20 years ago, whatever it is, stories from 10 years ago, uh, clips, tapes, anything, throw it all at the, the A candidate. lot of it's been proven false, but then he admits, I got permission to date the 17-year-old. Well, that interview just, with Hannity, I, I, whoever advised him to do that, I mean, I'd fire them immediately. That was terrible. That was bad for him. Yeah, but, you know, it's not illegal to... But he's kind of a creepy people, pervert. But I've the point is, is that he, it's, I'm not even defending it. I'm just not going to watch them ignore Clinton and all the other stuff and then make Roy Moore the devil. That's all I'm saying. We know it's being done political. We know they're exaggerating. That's the point. Wrong or right, though. I mean, let's take a look back. If you go back 40 years and you look at, a, say, 
a small town in central Illinois where a daughter is eight no, years old. No, no, it was literally old. mothers and fathers were shopping. Yeah. I mean, shopping their daughters around to the guy that owned the car dealership. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I'm not saying we should continue to do that or not. I'm just saying, look at the time. Well, people were more pragmatic back then. They're like, do I want my daughter to be with some deadbeat that's to her age at 20, well, pregnant, or, or, or do I want her to marry the rich guy? Here's what I don't understand, Alex. All the things that the liberals are fighting against right now, as far as gender norms are concerned, are still taught that way in college. I took psychology. All of the psychology classes that I took based on sexuality and gender all said the same stuff. Women like, uh, they say resources. Women like rich men. What, uh, do I need a book to tell me that? No, I'm not an idiot. Of course a woman wants to be with a man that can sustain them, sustain a family, put them in a shelter, keep food in them and their children's mouth. That's basic psychology. So they still and By the way, now this. that women have gotten to men's positions in many cases and make a bunch of money, they find out a few years in they don't want the boy toy. Uh, either they end up wanting somebody that's actually smart. Oh, oh, exactly. And so on the opposite spectrum, it's like, what do men look for? They want a woman that looks like she's fertile. They want to, you know, it's like, it's just, it's all of this basic human psychology stuff. They're still teaching at the liberal universities. Just Alex, like, just like male and female walruses do. I don't think they're going to teach it much longer. I'm, I'm serious. The psychology classes I took on gender and sexuality, I, I bet they pull, they will pull them from the ranks and they'll start replacing it with women's studies. By the way, that's more you know. BS. Rich men do not like slender women. We don't, it's not obese women. So that's that, that, that. Thing. I like a real woman. I like a woman that smiles. That's a, a big one funny. for me. Fun, you know, yeah. That's the kind of stuff I'm into. Me too. I mean, so much of it is attitude. Of course, I'm lucky my wife's not street legal. <laughs> she Russian? It was, it's a good t-shirt. It just means she's got so much horsepower under the hood. You can't put them on a regular street. I mean, it's fun. Watch out. That might be <laughs> okay, Alex Jones here with Owen Schroyer. He hosts his own transmission weekdays, 3 to 6 p.m. Central. Already a lot of stations picking it up. A bunch of stations picking it up in the new year because a lot of stations sign year-long contracts. Obviously, we don't do that. InfoWars is now free to air. I'm even, I, I like GCN, but they're just a satellite provider for me for you know, not 18, 19 years. One reason I've thought about leaving GCN is just because I want to just say stations get all the commercials. We'll fill them up on the internet with our stuff, but you just can have them all. So that's what stations really needs the money to fund themselves, and they only get half the ads. It's hard. I, I, I want to just say, it's just not about leaving GCN. It's just like I don't, I don't need the ads. I want to help the local stations. That's one of the things that goes into the calculus. But I'm, I'm still with GCN for now. We do our own syndication, our own feed right out of here. We do our own affiliate relations, but I have GCN as a backup, and they're great guys. Um, the people that own it and run it are nice folks. Some of the other talk shows are like pissed that I put them on the map and even exist. Like I'm the house on the hill. They're all mad that I even exist. I'm like, well, hell, let me just get away from you. You can all fall apart together. I mean, don't let me go swim in the North Atlantic in the middle of, you know, uh, December. It's kind of like uh, La, uh, what the kids named the ball kids names father. Basically, when the reporter says, oh, are you grateful that Trump released your son from 10 years in Chinese prison? And he's like, eh, yeah, we're fine, whatever. So Trump hit him back on Twitter. It's kind of the same thing, though. Just no, you know, it's a lack of respect, I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's beyond that. It, 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 it's, it's just frustrating. And I don't tell that story just now as if some scripted idea. That's the just kind of stuff that goes on in my head. Like, I just want our affiliates to have all the ads. We'll do a few plugs live on air. I want to help the stations. Plus, we get them the ratings. Plus, we're Americana. We believe in our recovery. We want the country to come back. It's just insane how they're trying to implode the economy and, and, and like betting against it. It's sick. When you built a marketplace, Alex, not only did you build this operation, you also built a marketplace. A lot of the products that you put on InfoWarsStore.com that were groundbreaking at the time or considered even loony, probably some people probably made fun of you, now are becoming mainstream. Now everybody wants to take these types of products. Now everybody's trying to replicate. When we did. started promoting true atomic iodine from Deep Earth, Five years ago, it was nowhere. Now it's in caps at Whole Foods and, and in CVS, and it's the crap stuff. Just, I mean, look at DNA Force. I mean, DNA Force is another example. Dr. Group and you were working together to put DNA Force on the market. It hits the market a year later. Every major mainstream, uh, you know, network you're seeing ads to protect your telomeres. That was something. Bio PQQ. That, that was a trend that you started. Well, we could just see hundreds of studies, and you're even allowed to say it about it. I mean, it's not. But how dare you? I mean, you know, I go out on the streets at a protest. And everybody says, F Alex Jones. You know, he's the worst. You should leave Austin. So that, that's nice to be. And, and, and which I don't want to name drop. I mean, I don't want to name drop. But, but literally, <laughs> Travis County, I mean, my family, 
Uh, no one's related to Colonel Travis because his line died out. We raised Colonel Travis' son on my mom's side. My dad's side connected into the whole deal. I'm not going to get into the whole Texas-type deal, but literally it exists because my ancestors are willing to fight and die. And then you're saying I should leave. A bunch of crazed, not even Californians. These are losers that went to California like locusts. It imploded. Now they're here, here telling me leave. I just think it's sad. There's so much judgment on these people. You know, they want to... Uh, leftists or liberals, whatever you want to say, they want to point the fingers at everybody sitting across the aisle from them and say racist, bigot, homophobe, this. How about that, you're a bunch of mentally deranged idiots? Well, or how about you just hold judgment until you know something? Like they want to come up to me and they say all these things. They accuse me of all these things. Like you don't even know. But that's me. the thing. They're a bunch of dirty, ugly, stupid, mentally deficient people, and I feel sorry for them. But like zombies, they want brains. Yeah. They see us and want to bring us down. Here's some of the highlights or lowlights of what happened to you yesterday out there with our uh, great Harrison Smith and Millie Weaver when a literal man in a chicken suit grabs the mic, breaks it, bashes it. The police then chase. Uh, here's some of the highlights. Today is the latest Refuse Fascism March. And this is specifically the Bring the Noise March. Hashtag Bring the Noise. Their Facebook marketing, their social media marketing, everything funded by George Soros here. And uh, the Refuse Fascism website and everything has the flyer. It's Bring the Noise. This nightmare must end. The Trump-Pence regime must go. Pots and pans. Drums and marching bands. Bring the noise. And it's all Drums and marching bands. Yep. It is now about 2.05 no here in local time. So that's five minutes after this thing was supposed to kick off, and I don't hear any noise. I don't see any pots and pans. I don't see any drum sets or anything like that. Like that's a third world thing, beating on for. pots. Is that some paperwork for me? Something I could read? Hey, hey. Got some paperwork? No, no Infowars. What do you mean, no Infowars? Who, Isn't that fascist? Is that not fascist? Is that not fascist? No Infowars? Hey, yeah, they're you, the fascists. How you doing today, chicken? Hey, hey, Pretty good. hey. You hear that voice? Hey, hey Mr. Mr. Unicorn. Chicken, why don't Hold you on. like Trump? <laughs> oh, please, Alex, explain what you're you seeing know, here. I had this, this long thing with his mom, and yeah, I, just, I really want to f*** that guy, too. Okay, so, but like, you're out here protesting Trump. Let's have a real conversation. Why don't you like Trump? It's like There's the pro-abortion so protest. They, they go, we love Satan. We want to be dirty and bad. Yes, we're they scum. Just, they just go they tell you, they go, we're scum. Yeah. We want to kill you. And they're like, they're like, oh, okay. It's like that's how they. They're very honest. Yeah, that's how they avoid the conversation. Now I'm the worst. I want to kill you. I hate America. Okay, well, you leave we you go. alone. The chicken's about to attack. Here we go, Chicken Man. Infowars. No. We got that. What, what, what? Why does Infowars suck? Because y'all lie and twist things. You like getting people killed for you know what? Pizza. What was that? Wow, you just made that up. You literally just made something up. They're full of. Grabs the mic, breaks it. Now, now there's no audio. Now, some people theorize that he was actually trying to hit me with the mic. And that the sign that the lady was holding in between us actually saved m me, essentially, from getting hit over the head with the mic. And she's got a sign with an image of Trump with poop dripping out. Literally. He, like, she bought, like, fake turds or something at a store. And then the chicken man takes off running. Now you're chasing a guy in a chicken suit with the police. I can't even do this. He ripped it out. He smashed it on the ground. I, I, I had a guy at CVS this morning. He's buying some batteries. He's like, I love that. Folks, InfoWars is now covering live police chases. Yeah. Wow. All right. So, so <laughs> we're standing out at the at the uh, foot of uh, Capitol Hill here in Austin, Texas, and like maybe ten people show up to protest Trump, and I'm just, hey, this is public property. Yeah, this right here. This is probably you know, here's damaged. the damaged equipment. So here's the, for the uh, broken radio equipment audience. Here, the microphone. He broke he an adapter and a microphone. Like a chicken. <laughs> They so always target. They target free speech. They're like, Brum. well, they always try to grab Millie's microphone too. <laughs> no, here, pause, guys, pause it right there. I'm telling you, Alex, this is probably the weirdest thing, and you can't. You can kind of see it in the video, but but if you go back, everyone saw it. The guy was actually running like a chicken, Alex. He wasn't like running. He was literally running like with his wings extended, like flapping wings, running like a chicken. I mean, how do you back it up ten <laughs> seconds? Are you kidding me? <laughs> and then here, and then we'll listen. I confirmed it with everyone else. I was like, "Did you guys was he was he running like a chicken?" And then everyone saw it. Like, yeah, he was running like a chicken. Go ahead, and roll it again. Here we go. Oh, God. there he goes. There he goes. Turn it up, guys. Give us audio. 
Oh, that's right. He audio, broke the yeah, microphone. The audio died out here. Sorry. So now the police, here we go. Yeah, he has his wings back. Do so you see that? He's running like a chicken. So there the police go. And then, you know, but think about this, too. Here, let it, let it, just let it run for a second here before but we... But let me ask you this question. What attracts so-called liberals? What attracts mental patients? Because this isn't funny. These are seriously mentally ill people. Well, and I think it's obvious that they kind of are, you know, kind of gravitating towards each other here because... How many people would still stick around in a protest group after that when a chicken and a unicorn is like your leading outfit? I mean, what, you know, if I had a protest like that, I'd... And then like, no one could ever talk. Here, 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 here. Right, yeah, here, here's we're explaining the chicken, man. ...to protest Trump. And I'm just... Hey, this is public property. Yeah, this right here. This is probably damaged. So here's the uh, broken equipment here, the oh, microphone. Yeah. He was actually running like a chicken. <laughs> you saw it too, sir. <laughs> he was literally <laughs> That guy saw it, too. That guy's like, he was. He was like, he ran like a chicken. <laughs> you know, we laugh at mental illness, but it's not funny. Oh, my God. So at this point in time, I tried to talk to our uh, our unicorn friend here, too. It's unbelievable, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Ten of them showed up. This is all over the Internet, too. Literally, chicken attacks reporters. <laughs> we'll be back. Stay with us. All right. By the way, you just told me about a new Kathy Griffin. That's that failed comedian from CNN that... Did the severed head of Trump, but now since she didn't apologize, you said, look at this video. Of her. We're going to play it in a moment. I actually feel sorry for her. I, I, you were showing me without audio. I said she looks like a mental patient or concentration camp victim. It's like the demon spirit is like eating these people. And then I was being told by Matt, he goes, no, we pulled it up. The first thing she says is, I've lost my mind. What? There's 70 percent. It was 69. Less illegals coming in. We've got double the number of veterans getting visits. Uh, we've got the stock market up $4 trillion. We've got 1.6 million new jobs. We've got ISIS basically defeated. Uh, we've got optimism. Uh, we've got globalism in trouble. And you're acting like you're dying. Well, it looks like she's dying based on the video. And actually, the craziest thing about it is she looks like somebody who literally has had dozens of plastic surgeries to make him or herself look like an alien and the demon transsexual that read to the children at the Michelle Obama Library. So I don't know if she's intentionally going for that look, but that's not what she looks like. So. By the way, we're not saying transsexuals are demons. This is a transsexual dressed as a demon. Yeah, that she read to children at the Michelle Obama Library. I mean, it's she not had like demon I'm just horns and couching everything. like, oh, I'm not against you. I really am not against some guy that thinks he's a woman or vice versa. The thing is that it's like, then just don't go try to tell kids and do a pole dance for them when they're three years old. Mm -hmm. If you're heterosexual, whatever, don't do pole dances to three-year-olds. And I know that you know, leave kids alone, and you can go do whatever you want, man. Literally, yeah. There's there's the, there's the demon demon transsexual. Use the proper term. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, Facebook has taught us. We didn't know it was bad, but we'll do what they say. If you want to put glitter, Soros has taught me. Huh? You know, if you want to put glitter on your Johnson and go around, just don't do it around. That was children. in Austin last weekend, not this weekend, but last. Uh, a, a guy with glitter on his genitals with children kissing them but it's normal no notice though no media attacked this all they did was not show what we were showing they just said jones claims transsexuals are naked with kids <laughs> on video in austin that was wrong see even though he has the video they play these but they didn't show in the articles in the advocate jones claimed transsexuals are after kids again with no evidence and then they clip it together and never show the video i show I mean, here it is. Look. Jeez. Can we roll that again, please? Well, don't worry. There's a woman with a hijab. Ugh. Can we, can we go to that camera? Here, here you go. Oh, my god. But that's gosh. not the pole dancing. Well, this is all halal, though. It's pro-Islam, so it's okay. Is that twist? Is that Dean Snyder from Twisted Sister? I don't think so. I want to rock! <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with your life? Anyways. Oh, my gosh. This is what we're doing. Here's with. the deal. I'm a free spirit. I'm not attacking any of these people. This is, this is, give me a break. There shouldn't be kids there. Look, hey, and, and like, why? All I'm saying is, can you get attractive transsexuals to your events? I mean, is that not too much to ask, too? I mean, you know, it, it's like if you went to a dancing show of women and they weighed 400 pounds on average, you'd say, damn, this Vegas show sucks. Wait a second. Why, why can't we get some good looking ones up here? And, just, they, and they say, that's, I just realized something. Look they're, at that giant fat one right there. They're selling. They're selling. Dean Snyder. They're selling women's lingerie at this event. I didn't know that. What the hell is that? Hold on, guys. Re re rewind the tape here. 
You, oh, oh, come on. Don't show me that. Here, pause right there. Look at this. Are they not, are they selling women's lingerie? Am I missing something here? What is going on? This sounds like hell to me. You got some, you got some, a leprechaun in a pink outfit? All right, Alex, what would you rather do? Would you rather race a chicken man across the street or have a transsexual read to your children? <laughs> That's easier. I'd rather chase a chicken across the street. <laughs> Why did the chicken run chicken. across the street? Because it was bombed out of its brain on bath salts. Why did the chicken cross the road? To refuse fascism. Chicken crossed the road to run from the state police. We have the answer now. People have been wondering why the chicken. People, the road. finally, the age-old question: Why did it cross the road? We got Info it. Wars has the. We got. Why the did the chicken cross the road? It's not just tomorrow's news today, or next year's news today, or next decade's news. To, you know, today it's why did the chicken run the MC squared? We, we are, are literally solving the mysteries of the universe. People have been wondering why the chicken crossed the road forever, and we finally figured it out to refuse fascism. Here, let's finish your clip. Here it is. We'll get to Kathy Griffin. The uh, broken equipment here, the microphone. He was actually running like a chicken. <laughs> you saw it too, sir. He was literally running like a chicken. Talking about refusing fascism. There's the one with the pooping dogs. <laughs> yeah. She's going to come in here. Mentally ill people come up with some good art there. <laughs> yeah. I guess you could say that. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Here's the legendary unicorn, Alex. I had to go face to face with the battle axe wielding unicorn. But she won't let you. No, nope, she had to get in the way. She tries to shove a Trump with turds at you. <laughs> look, look at this. A pooping Trump. And like he's farting bluebirds. Uh, By the way, if you're a radio listener, I'm not kidding. I'm only reporting it. The march is on the move. Let's keep on going. We'll follow him. So I went away for a couple minutes and I returned with my bullhorn. So would the would the unicorn talk to you? No, 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 no. The unicorn took the tactics of the I, University I of Texas date professor. The <laughs> did you ask, did you, did you ask the unicorn out for me? <laughs> no, but I know you have a message for the chicken man. When we finish this video, you can address your message to the chicken man. I don't know if the unicorn is interested in you, though, Alex. You might have a tough time getting interest out of that unicorn. But the left says bestiality is okay. That's true. And, and, and pedophilia. But what is it called if it's with a mythical creature? That might be an entire... Could I rape a baby unicorn? That's an entirely new realm of... Well, as long as it's liberal... So here's, here's, but look, this is the end of their march right here. So you can see how their numbers are almost to, to nothing here. I, I, I think it's just wasting our time at this point. I thought this was a here, serious... Get them going here, get them I notice they're all white. The only black folks there are with us. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and they're friends. That's good. Yeah, big InfoWars fans. I've actually met uh, the other one before. Other I protesters. misunderstood. I thought you said there were a couple of black folks with the protesters. No, no, no. They were with us. Oh, good, good. Well, right. they came out. I think they came out just to see the whole thing. and then, So they were just viewing it. And I've met him before. So it was like, Probably hey, you not want to watch before? it. Yeah. It's only so long you realize the media is lying about Trump. There it is. It's all only eight of them. so long you realize the people that fund these protests don't like America. They don't want you to succeed. Okay, so those reports are up on Infowars.com. And news wars right now. And again, the enemy doesn't want you to see this because this is what's really happening. God, Kathy Griffin uh. looks like a vampire drank everything but like a half ounce of blood out of her. Like Count Dracula sucked her dry. Was that Anderson Cooper uh, reportedly is a vampire. He dropped by and like sucked his blood out. That's called sarcasm. I'm not saying that's real. But like Snopes, Kathy <laughs> Griffin wasn't sucked on by a vampire, even though she is one. So, uh... <laughs> Snopes, Alex Jones claims <laughs> Kathy Griffin sucked on by a vampire. I looked at what they oh. have. It's all like, it's stuff like that, yeah, like jokes insane. we made. Hey, but let's get serious. Chicken man. Aid Skrelix was offered 10 grand, wouldn't come, even though he was in Missouri. You are being offered $10,000 to go for one week with me to Cancun. That's right. You're going to go to, we're going to do live streaming from there. Can I bring the unicorn? Absolutely. I'll bring the unicorn as well. I'm not kidding. This is the ultimate reality TV. But then none of them will do it because they're all in such a cult. I will pay for the unicorn. That is the I ultimate will, reality TV. We're going to get a suite stay in the same room. I want eight Skrelix. And I mean, I want eight Skrelix. I know you want it. You've wanted him for over a year now. I want him bad. Okay. I'm coming yeah, out of like the a, closet. I want eight Skrelix. That's like a high-end. Uh, I want Carl the Cuck. Can't be, please. Seriously, 
the unicorn, the chicken man. I want the chicken with no mask in here. I will drop charges. Owen, you said you drop charges. I'll drop. We'll drop the charges. But he has to come in studio with the chicken man costume. Chicken. Face, face uncovered. That's right. But see, the problem is, this is all they can get out there. Oh, oh, we're about to go to break. We're about to end the show. Here's Kathy Griffin. If you're a TV viewer, you're seeing the horror. She looks like beyond a concentration camp victim. And I'm not joking when I say that. I'm actually worried about her. This is the mental illness we're talking about. Without even looking for this, it's, just, it's, just, it's just the theme emerges just Constant. on its own. Here it, is, here it is, the mental illness. Here it is. Griffin, and I'm doing um, what I call a State of the Union YouTube video. So I hope you watch this on YouTube. It'll probably be about five minutes. Um, what's the date? I don't even know what day it is. It's Saturday, November 18th, 2017. I kind of lose track because I'm on a world tour. All right, so what I want to address today wow. is I'm getting a lot of online hate Tenny from trolls tour? who think I've lost my mind. And um, I'm admitting I lost my mind, and so it made me a star in the first place. But I just want to be honest. Like, Jeez. as far as what we're going that kind of is telling, isn't it? I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to be as extreme and crazy as possible to get attention. That's basically what she just said. Man, all I know is I don't want to take whatever they're on. I don't want to be with these people. You don't want to take meth, huh? Hey, let's go out with my family. Let's get a porterhouse steak tonight. All right, I guess so. We'll do that. Uh, only if I can invite the chicken man. We won't eat chicken, though. We won't eat chicken around the chicken man. Just steak. Great job of the crew. See you tomorrow. The David Knight kicks off at 8 a.m. I'm at 11 a.m. You're at 3 p.m. Infowars.com, newswars.com.